George Woods, 72 feet, 22 meters, the first bomb over 22. And this is this is a glide video that I was super excited to analyze. I think it's it's something we can really learn a lot from. Uh, and I believe George Woods, you know, one of the best American throwers uh, to come out in, in the 70s. And, and he just moves really, really well. Really powerful dude. Just yoked as hell. But what I wanted to cover here is in the glide, and, and this is the world record at the time, is that he does stay slightly higher than if you think about with Timmerman. So you can see his hips here. His chest is a little bit higher, right? And then it's, he starts to come up early. But the biggest thing I want everybody to pay attention to is what is he doing here with this right foot? Okay? And then what's he doing with that left? So that left, okay, gets a, slightly above the knee, okay? Just a little bit above. And this was in Richmond. Actually, my old coach, Dr. B, was at this competition. Um, but he stays on that flat foot for quite a while. So right in here, the, his right foot stays flat, and his left knee is past the, the midway point. Now you can start to see that that foot starts to come up, right? As he's extending that left knee and that left hip. And, then, and this is one of the hardest things to do in the glide, is to think about, Timmerman did this so well, is, is this extension from the knee and the hip to get a little bit more drive to the front while maintaining that flat foot and if we can just watch with george wood's right foot here this is extremely important watch how he comes off that heel he starts to rotate the knee in just a hair but his foot just slides to the front right he just slides to the front he loses plantar flexion here just a hair and what ends up happening is you know he's almost in double support position here with that left shoulder way way back he gets back on this a little bit. Now, here's what I want to point out is that his right knee doesn't come through as well as Timmerman or, or Michael Carter. But keep in mind he was, you know, he was throwing this was ten years or more before. His left foot's decent, okay? Maybe a little deep. Would prefer that plantar flexion there. So he starts because his chest is more over his hip. He starts to shift forward early without that rotation from the knee. But even right here, he starts, he does a good job of staying down on that left. He stays on that left, still down on that left here, shots in his hand right there. Okay, opens up that left arm. And if we, that's one thing too, is like he opens up his left arm here and his left shoulder really squares up. Now he's into that left entirely without any thing really coming up that right sector which is what Timmerman did so well and if you watch this throw in the full speed you can see he he does pull it down the left sector which is not normal for a glider but I think the big things that you've got to watch is how well he gets out over that toe board this is you know Timmerman 88 think about that his his foot's into the the board there the biggest factors that I like that the other, the other, one other thing quick is that I wish his left leg was a little more like Timmerman over here because I think that would have kept his chest over his right quad more. But his left pulls just a little bit. It gets a little high here, but then he corrects this. He's so patient off of that right. This is his best position right here. Very quick with that right foot. Uh, just slides that forward. He's got the short, long position. Very patient with that left shoulder and very patient holding that grounded position here while the shot's still in his hand. This is... You know, at the time, this is the best technical throw probably in the world, and I would argue it's still a top 10, top 15 glide of all time. Very excellent. I just think he gets a little bit behind his quad here with the, with the torso, and that leads to him pulling down that left sector line. So it's a slightly different movement from Timmerman, but still excellent. If you want more information about the glide, the rotational technique, and other throws-based material, head over to throwsuniversity.com. Peace.